Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is season 6 episode 18 of City Signings now if you do go on to enjoy please make sure you drop a like on today's video if you could try and hit 80 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on this signing as well down in the comment section down below it was earlier today confirmed that Bradford City have completed the signing of Dion Pereira on a season long loan from Luton Town I am absolutely buzzing Dion is finally home after months and months of everybody asking him on social media Luton have finally allowed him to come to a League 2 club not just any League 2 club he has come back to Bradford City spent the second half of the season on loan with us last year and was just an absolute joy to watch he is without a doubt one of the best wingers in this league he might not have the most goals he might not have the most assist but if you actually watch him as a footballer he's a joy to watch he's an unbelievable talent and I'm still very surprised that he's come back to Bradford City if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like on it subscribe if you are new as well let's get into it I'm sure you can tell by my reaction I'm absolutely buzzing at that Dion is home it was also confirmed today at eight o'clock this morning that we've completed the signing of Tyreek Wright on a season-long loan from Aston Villa if you've not already checked out my thoughts on him signing they went out earlier today at 12 o'clock I'm bringing you this video at six o'clock as well. Bradford City tweeted at 2 minutes past 10. They tweeted many teaser videos about it just before it, but they officially confirmed it at 2 minutes past 10 at this morning, saying breaking news, we are delighted to announce the signing of Dion Pereira, who returns to Bradford City on a season-long loan from Luton Town. The article does then read Pereira returns on loan. Bradford City AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Dion Pereira, who returns to the club on loan from Luton Town. The tricky winger has agreed a deal which will keep him at the University of Bradford Stadium for the remainder of the 22-23 campaign after City beat off competition from across the EFL for his signature. Pereira, 23, made 10 appearances on loan for the Bantams throughout the second half of last season, having signed in January. The Watford Academy graduate impressed for the Hatters during pre-season before testing, comp testing sorry, competitive action in the first round of the Carabao Cup. He said, I'm delighted to be back. Everyone made me feel right at home last season and I did not have to think twice about returning. The experiences I had last season with the supporters, the team and Mark Hughes are the ones that you cannot forget. No mention of Derek Adams there obviously because well he never actually got to play under Derek Adams when he signed he was one of Derek Adams th first signings he either signed on the 2nd or the 3rd of January and got an injury then no, I think he actually had an illness then when he just recovered from that illness he got an injury once he recovered from that injury then Derek Adams made him train really hard on his first session back and he did the injury again so he didn't end up playing for like the first two or three months of his loan spell by that time Derek Adams was long gone and Mike Hughes was back I think he made his debut away at Forest Green when he went to the league leaders in their own back garden and beat him too. Now, I'm pretty sure that was his debut. But finishing off with three wins at the end of last season, the gaffer said that he wanted to aim for success before I even went back to Luton. After seeing games so far, including the win against Sheffield Wednesday, it is clear what we want to do. I cannot wait to see all the boys again at training and get back out of Valley Parade on Saturday. Now, when Bradford City released the video of like his first day there, all the players were buzzing to see him back. Luke Hendry called him the saviour. Songo, Issa and Angle were absolutely buzzing. Specifically, Songo, he's very shocked and confused and very surprised and I'm sure we all were when this was officially confirmed but he also said I have missed all the fans and just want to give everything back to them on the pitch. Bantam's boss Mark Hughes said we are delighted to be able to bring Dion back to Valley Parade and cannot wait to see him back in Clara and Amber. As every Bradford City supporter knows Dion is an exciting entertaining player who we have kept an eye on from the minute he returned to Luton following the conclusion of last season. He has the ability to unlock doors and turn games in the blink of an eye that is something we've definitely been missing in the opening few home games of the season and he's a popular face among those who he shared the pitch with here last term. Last season when he played it was usually Pereira on the right, Walker in the middle, Vernon on the left and Angle up front when they were all fit. That quadruple quadruple that's not a word the, the the four players there was an absolute joy to watch and it worked really well obviously it's changed quite a lot since then. I'll have to Go into a little bit more detail about the amount of depth now we've got in the attacking positions in a moment. But just to finish off what he said, he said, I am sure you would join me in wishing him a warm welcome. And like myself, I'm looking forward to seeing him in action. Pereira wear number 26. You obviously wore 28 last time, but he'll wear number 26 this time. Join his second stint as a bantam and be sponsored by Element Jewelry. His signing is subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. Now, obviously, with him signing from another club, Luton also tweet at the same time now. 
there is some sad news in this tweet. Before I get into it, I'm pretty sure that Dion Pereira's contract was out this summer coming up. I think they also had the option to extend it, but they did tweet saying Dion Pereira signed a new contract with Luton Town and will continue his development by spending the duration of the 22-23 campaign on loan at Bradford City. Good luck, Dion Pereira. Now, it's obviously a massive shame that he has signed a new contract with Luton because it pretty much writes off any chance of him coming back on a permanent basis. So, as much as I love Dion, I'm not going to fall in love 1 million percent because we probably all know he's not going to come back on a permanent basis but their article does read Dion Pereira signs new contract and joins Bradford on loan we are delighted to announce that Dion Pereira signed a new contract with Luton Town and will continue his development by spending the duration of the 2022-23 campaign on loan at Bradford City no mention of how long his new contract is going to be so I don't really know what's going to go on there but after an impressive pre-season the exciting 23 year old has put pen to paper on a deal to extend his stay at Kenilworth Road but will now return to West Yorkshire in order to gain regular game time in League 2. Pereira played the full 90 minutes in the Carabao Cup exit against Newport County in August and heads out on loan for the third time in his career following previous spells at Yeovil Town and Bradford City respectively. He made 10 appearances for the Bantams last season and returned to the University of Bradford Stadium, hoping to make a big impact under Mike Hughes again this term. Manager Nathan Jones said, We are delighted to have tied Dion down to a new contract. He's had a good pre season and has shown he's very close to the first team. To continue his development, we had to decide whether he stays here and he's in and around the squad or he goes out and gets more game time. We felt that with the strength of the squad we have, he might be limited to the odd appearance here, whereas he can go out and play regularly, which he needs to do at this stage of his career. We had a lot of interest in Dion, but he went to Bradford last season and did well, and there is unfinished business there for him. He took a bit of time to get settled, picking up an injury early on but we feel it's a good club for him. He knows the club, he knows the people, he's playing for one of the most experienced managers in the game and he can hit the ground running. We hope he has a good season with Bradford and then comes back to us ready to play a part in our first team in the long term. Good luck, Dion. Now, I I'm still, even hours later, this is being recorded seven hours after he signed, I'm still in shock that Dion Pereira is a Bradford City player. I'm so happy that he's back because he's the key that we are missing. Mark Hughes has come confirmed as well that he anticipates there'll be no further incomings. He also said there'll be no outgoings as well. We've got a lot of quality and a lot of options in that front three behind Andy Cook as the striker. In terms of natural right wingers, you've now got Scott Banks, Emmanuel Osadibe, but he's obviously going to be out until about March, April time, and Tyreek Wright. In that number 10 position, you've got Jamie Walker, like we've got Charlie Wood and Kean Skills, but they're both out on loan. Kean Skills has also extended his loan with Farsley until at least January. Then natural left wingers, we've got Harry Chapman, Jake Young, and Abouisa. That's without including players like Lee Angelou can play on the left or as a number 10 Alex Gilead can play as a number 10 or as a right winger and so can Levi Sutton as well so we've got a lot of options in there I've no idea how Mark Hughes is going to be able to keep all these players happy you'll have to wait and see what my starting 11 will be for Saturday's game against Walsall my match preview will be out tomorrow at 4 o'clock usually they're out on Thursdays but with it being deadline day and with us announcing these two signings I've had to do a double upload today no video yesterday so hopefully that does make up for it but I just I don't even know what to say I'm just so happy Dion is home I think he probably will play more as a number 10 this season because he's not the quickest, he's not the fastest and I feel like that's what Mark Hughes wants from his wingers. Jake Young, Aboisa, absolutely rapid. Scott Banks and Emmanuel Osadebe are absolutely rapid as well. I've not, I'm yet to see Tyreek Wright play so I can't really comment on that. Harry Chapman's definitely got some pace in there but he's not quite as quick as the other ones. Dion's pace is certainly not his best factor about him. It's more his dribbling, his skill and the only slight criticism I would have of Dion Pereira is his goals and assists where at the end of the day it doesn't matter all too much if you've got other players scoring than assists around you but to play 10 games last season and only get two goal contributions it's not great from an attacking midfielder now it's certainly not bad whatsoever it could be a lot worse I'd like to see a little bit more from Pereira this season maybe get close to double figures in terms of goals definitely get into double figures of assists as well but it depends how Mark Hughes wants to use him what system he's going to play him in how long he's going to play as well because when you've got so many attacking players it feels like we're a little bit like Man City at the moment we're just stockpiling so many good attacking players that if we have all these attacking players and Saturday still ends as another nil nil i'll be absolutely fuming but anyway that is where i'm gonna leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 80 likes as i said at the start of today's video that'd be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification button it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on this sign as well down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on bradford city signing dion Pereira on a season-long loan from luton town now again, no 
mentioned in either article if there is an option to recall him in January. Hopefully there isn't. We know there definitely is one in there for Critchlow, and we presume there's going to be one in there for Kean Harrop, but we don't necessarily know about any of them. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to our current tier 3 channel member, B Davies 211. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all tomorrow for the Walsall at Home match preview. Peace.